Got a fun it. Uh, I, I had a message last night from an auntie um, um, telling me I've got to make a message or got to make a video today and it would help somebody. So uh, she said it has to be freestyle so I can't like write down or plan it out or anything. Um, so definitely it's going to be about tafaki. Né? <laughs> Uh, my whole life recently has been, well, for the last seven years has been based around tafaki. They're the, the law of tafaki, the practices of tafaki. So I thought I'd, uh, this would be the intro, this would be the introduction to tafaki or te whariwana ngō tafaki. This will be the, the whariwana ngō tafaki. Um, surely there's other whariwana ngō tafaki though. Um, this is... Um, one po of tafaki. As we'll get into it later, um, he claimed te ara pautama and also te aka. We'll get into those, but uh, I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll start off. So I've, I've been meaning to make these videos since we first made the Hihiritanga video, the intro to Hihiritanga. Um, I didn't get around to doing kaiatia. So uh, the way I was taught, I was I was taught the um, uh, kaiahi, kai ho, kai wai, kai whenua, and then kaiatia, and then I went back and learned the, the other the other four games. There's, there's these five elements. You could say the five elements of tafaki. That's how he was raised. Anyway, um, uh, so kaiatia, eating space, space is what holds everything together. Um, um, like your, your mind's on a pendulum, your mind's on a pendulum, always rocking from wahipa, waheke, and it's hardly ever in wa too. So it's like uh, you always think about what happened yesterday. What happened 10 minutes ago? What happened this morning? Uh, what that message was last night? What the bro said the other day that's happening tomorrow? You know? So now I'm thinking in the future. Um, what's happening in 10 minutes? What's happening tonight? What's happening at the end of the year? What's our plans for New Year's? Uh, what's the next game coming out? What's the next movie coming out? Well, uh, fuck that, that buzzy shit that happened at Mahi the other day that I keep replaying. The, the other shit that I wish I didn't do those fucking <laughs> like a couple of months ago. No, and, and I keep replaying it, no, so I'm hardly ever in the now. No? Um, which which is what Kayati is, is, is being in Watu, being in the present, not in the past, not in the future. Uh, you slow that pendulum down, because if you're thinking about the past or the future, you're just throwing energy around. No? So, um, what you want to do, you want to stay in, uh, in Watu, you want to stay in the present. And... Um, you can think, you can think, but not in a language. Now, as you're learning this, as you're learning uh, this, uh, the energy that's holding everything together, which is you, like the dots, the particles, what's holding those particles together, no? the space, which is the clearness of your mind. Um, while you're learning it, you can think, but not in an oral language. So if you can hear yourself speaking in a, in a language, any language, um then um uh, the pendulum's rocking if you can hear your inner voice talking to yourself then the pendulum is rocking eh, and you're throwing energy around so the game plan is to just say nayane for this is the the, the practice the practice is to just say nayane and um or now and whenever you say nayane or now you can hold your attention on anything that's happening right now um, um any of your senses so we will try it just for, we'll say like 20 seconds. We'll try it for 20 seconds. And you can hold your attention on any one thing. You can pick it. It might be the bird outside. Like it might be a beat. Like like from uh, from the dude next door playing the radio. No, it might just be a, be a beat. 
Now <laughs> you can listen to it. Might be the Manu outside. Might be your heartbeat. Then you can, like uh, try and feel your heartbeat. Listen to your breath. Um, find the feel, the texture or something. You know. Um, so just pick one thing and try and hold your attention on it. And then as soon as um, your inner voice starts to speak to yourself, change sense. And that just keeps that, that window going a little bit longer. So, yeah, we'll try it now. I'm going to listen to or feel the, the ahi right here. Oh, my God. Turn on the... Turn on the way. Seems it's accessible right here. So, um... Nine. Yeah, so I'm listening to the water, and then I could st start to hear myself speaking to myself. So then I changed to the ahi, yeah? I changed feeling, and that's going to uh, keep my inner voice quiet a little bit longer. Just each, each time you change sense. So if I'm, if I'm feeling the fire, and then, um, or listening to it, and then I can hear myself starting to speak to myself in my head, then I'll start listening to the manu outside. Or feeling what the dirt feels like on my feet. And then I can start to hear myself speaking again in my head, so then I'll start feeling my heartbeat. And, then, and that'll keep that window a little bit um, a little bit bigger. So uh, if that's when you're eating space. If, if uh, your inner voice is quiet, then you're charging up. Né? Like Goku hard out, like, oh <laughs> It's, it's here, um, if you can visualize it in a certain way, then, then that's what it is. But you can feel it, and you can feel the, the energy of a thought wanting to come in. And uh, as we get we're further into Hihiritanga, because um, uh, that's how Tafaki was raised, so this is going to have everything about Tafaki in this channel. Uh, um, uh, uh, one of the bases for Hihiritanga uh, is is the uh, three atua so which are the parents of rangi and papa whaitua whaitua is um the, the boundary or the skin or a sphere and then uh what's holding that sphere together or well, there's two beings that are self-evolving inside there um uh, te mangu or te mangu maku he's the push and then mahora nui she's the pull if you were in there looking the other way then they switch but uh the essence of it yeah uh wahine pulling um tane pushing yeah if, if, if the if it was just mahor nuyarangi then that sophia would fall in on itself if it was um just timangu it would just keep going up but what's holding it there yeah and as we get further into it that's like um when eel when eel realizes when it sees kite fayao, the flicker that for energy for me to be seeing this flicker then um there has to be energy going there and coming back right so uh, a thought could occur, I am both a, I am both male and female. And then in that realization, Eeyore pulled herself or herself apart and then looks at the female side and think, fuck, that's both as well, pull that apart. And look at the male side that comes off that, pulls that apart, look at the female side, pulls that apart. And it just, book, 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 book. It's like the, uh, anything that happens in Chao Wairua has a side effect in Chao Tūrua. They're, the, they're with each other. They are, they are each other. But, um, uh, as we're in the world of separation there in this dimension, um, we'll, we'll explain it as that. Um, anything that happens in Tel Wairua has a side effect in Tel Tudor. The, the side effect of that is the, the, uh, the Big Bang, that is the expansion. And, and then you ask yourself which direction did Eo pull himself or herself apart, uh, forward or back, uh, left or right, up or down, and it ends up being inside, outside. And which creates the skin. And then what's holding that skin together? The push and the pull. <laughs> and the push, the pull, and the sphere together are the parents of uh, Rangi Pōtuki and Papatuanaku. Yeah, Rangi Pōtuki, before the te wehing or separation happened between um, him and Papatuanaku, and then it becomes uh, different iwi, say differently, Rangi Nui Atamaku Rangi. We're in level three. Yeah? Everything you see right now, 
uh, in level 3. So when you look up in the sky, rangi, papa, rangi, nui, atamaku, rangi, or level 3, whichever rangi you want to call it, it's level 3. No? Everything you see within level 3, your visuals are confined to three dimensions. There's a height, there's a width, there's a depth. So um, uh, it changes when you dream. No? So it goes up to rangi tamaku, or the fourth dimension, the astral plane. Yeah. So uh, um, I'm just gonna, in this intro, I'm just gonna blat out a whole heap of information. <laughs> and then you can request. You can request um, what you want me to touch up on, or, or if you heard some other quarter about tafaki or energy cultivation. Hey, if you heard about energy cultivation and and you want to see um, um, fuck what the tafaki quarter is in behind it, um, then hit me up and I'll, I'll break it down as best as I know it. You know? Um, fuck, I'm feeling so blessed. No, I'm feeling so grateful. Super grateful. Fuck, thank you. Super grateful for you watching right now. Fuck, and thank you. Nga mihi. Fuck, a fair time. Amato ki a kue. Nga mihi. Nga mihi. I appreciate it. Love, 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 love you. Fuck, and nga mihi. Thank you for uh, co creating this reality. Ne? Yeah, so. Uh, in, in every coming video, it's only going to be like 10 minute videos and I'll specifically answer calmly each bit but on this one, I'm just going to say any potoma that pops into my mind, eh? So, um, Tafuki is the, our, our representative, our Māori representative for physical immortality, eh? But, um, and that's not confining it just to Māori, you know, we're all connected, eh? Um, the game plan is always reconnection. Te hōnonga. Uh, pro probably in the next video, or the one after that, it'll be uh, tāmoko. Eh, um, as tāmoko is connected to tāwhaki. And it uh, holds all the information. Same, same with uh, tuku tuku. Same with uh, whakārare. Oraranga. Kairo, Waiata, but um, uh, Puraku. But yeah, if, uh, if he's having any questions, just um, just ask. So he's our representative for physical immortality. They they tell the stories and heaps of the stories have been fucked with, um, but uh, a lot are coming out now. Like keep your eyes out for Tafaki stories. So. <laughs> Uh, in every culture you look out there and there's like a uh, corridor of physical immortals, right? actual thousands and thousands of years old, right? and they're still here, right? they never died. Right? Um, I feel I need to start it like this. Um, every religion, every uh, great, uh, what do you call it? Um, every great dialogue, eh? every great uh, energy cultivation practice is based on the fact anything you hold your attention on, you're sending energy to it. Eh? Anything your attention is on, your energy, like I said on the Hihiritanga true, uh, your, your awareness, your consciousness, your attention is like a laser beam. Eh? Um, I love visualizing it like that because I have control of this motherfucker, you know? Uh, <laughs> anything that I hold my attention on, whether it's any of my senses, whether it's I'm visualizing it, whether I'm feeling it, no, whether my attention is on it, I'm sending it to energy to it, I'm pulling it, I'm energizing it, I'm creating it, I'm, uh, I'm walking down a path and I'm throwing it in front of me, you know? Anything that you're thinking about, you're throwing it in front of you and you're going to walk into this motherfucker, you know? Anything or any emotion that you don't send love to, you're going to store it inside of you, you know? <laughs> And it's in you, you're going to meet it, you know? Because you're, you're, you're still holding it. <laughs> Until it comes back up, send some love to it, you know? And that's it, your, 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 your attention uh, is love. Attention is love. Um, aro, like uh, anything that you're holding your attention in, on is love. Um, the uh, the motive behind it 
or anything that you put on top of it, any thoughts you put on top of it can uh, uh, defer it away from love. But the attention itself is love, eh? pure fucking love. And um, I didn't realize it at the beginning, but you can set the say, you, you can tune your laser beam up. Um, when I was first come aware of this laser beam, uh, I was, I've always uh, suffered from a, a form of psoriasis everywhere, mainly my, my armpits in the middle of my chest around my hair would always get itchy as fuck and have dry skin, sometimes it would bleed a bit and um, the more spiritually aware I got I could feel it more, eh? I could feel this itchiness and it gets annoying and um, I was told anything you hold your attention on you're, you're sending energy to it so if I could feel it, send some energy to it but it was agitated energy, you know? <laughs> I was fucking angry at it. No, I was angry at the itchiness. I said, fuck this psoriasis shit. You know? So I was holding agitated energy at it. So I wasn't really doing much good, man. I was, I was holding that. I was holding it as agitated. I was holding it. <laughs> I was, uh, as, as you learn more about energies, uh, the uh, expanding and contracting. When uh, something crosses your path that you don't like uh, and, or it troubles you, you contract it. <laughs> it's naturally people stop breathing, eh? They, they stop breathing <laughs> uh, when any types of fucking shit starts happening. Like uh, whether it's like exciting or whether it's scary, uh, a natural reaction is to stop breathing, eh? And um, or quickly exhale. And when you do that, you're you're, uh, you're you're contracting it into you, and it becomes a trauma. And, and an example of that, yeah, I'm so I jump onto this one. That's uh, um, uh, you could see those three that I talked about. Mahoru ya rangi te mangu and fight to it as uh, 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 our holy trinity for Maori, the our holy trinity, and um, uh, the push, the pull, and the harmony or the memory, and and um, you could break those apart too. You could break those apart into long lost lovers. Eh? <laughs> And you're holding them. No, you can pull them together. No, it's uh, um, uh, an example would be anger. I, I have to give props to uh, Sophia Wapati for this because like she really hit it on the head and helped me big time with this. It's um, uh, an example would be anger. It could be coming from next door. No, it could be coming from fucking outer space. It's different different galactic shit happening out of there and, and a wave just comes over us no? and then all of a sudden we're angry and then it's like uh, I am angry because of some shit I'm angry because of uh, my, my bro over here you know? I'm, oh, I'm angry because of myself why did I do that and start beating myself up but that's not what it is eh? it's got nothing to do with you eh? it's just the energy that's coming past you uh, and even if, if it's in your direct surroundings you can, you can change it eh? You're in the center of your universe. Eo, e, a, eo, God, no? Everything all joined together. E, like a, is, no? <laughs> um, o, or a, o. You, me. God is me. No? God in me. I am God. No? It's the same shit. It's like if I, if I took a, if I use this flame over here, if I if I took a flame out of this ahi right here, and uh, I had a hundred candles, hundred empty candles, I used that flame and I lit all those candles, same flame, just seeing it from a different perspective. No? We are all the same flame. No? You you can't take a, so eel is the all. No? You can't take a part of the all and it not be the all. No? So it's an eel. No? You, you take a bit of eel, it's still eel. No? <laughs> if you take a part of the all or subtract from the all, it's still the all. This this bit's the all too. Yeah? If you take a, a part of the hologram, it's still the whole gram. Yeah? Which uh, it's all in time. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'll break that down to another one because that's that's a massive thing. <laughs> uh, where I was, where I was. Oh yeah, so, um, um, I invite you, I invite you to, next time you feel angry, yeah? um, 
hold it. Né? Like, uh, as you feel some anger coming over you, just say, I am angry. Or if you're stressed, I am stressed. Or any, any uh, emotion that has an opposite. Né? Any separated emotion. Like happiness, uh, sadness, um, um, stressed, <laughs> relaxed. You know, any anything, anyone that you could think of, any emotion you could think of that has an opposite, you can find. You could type it in on Google. What are the opposites? You know? But um, so if you if you feel we stressed or anger coming over me, if you feel stressed or anger, it's like I am angry. Just say to yourself, I am angry. Full stop. Don't blame it on nobody. Don't blame it on yourself. Don't blame it on no just I am angry. And then try and feel it. You might be able to feel it in your body. For me, it's usually around here somewhere. But uh, predominantly around your throat or around the solar plexus or around under your belly button. Um, could be in your legs too though. But uh, if you can, pinpoint at me. Because <laughs> you can see an energy to that motherfucker. And it's like... Uh, 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 the 72 Atua or 70 Atua or 86 Atua, the personalities of God and they're also um, personalities inside of you. But uh, if you wanted to break it down, they're like energy meridians or pathways inside of you. And um, traumas store themselves in certain areas. And when you can find where it is, you can send some energy to it. If you learn how to turn your laser beam up first, I'm, I'm getting to that. But uh, <laughs> so, so the scenario is happening. I am angry. <laughs> And now try and feel it in your body. Or feel it in your puku. Like uh, feel what you feel like right now. Holding it in your, in your puku. Fuck yeah, I feel angry. I feel stressed. Yeah? Like, yeah, feeling what it feels like. Feel what the texture feels like. Fuck yeah, it's tight. Yeah, fuck, it's heavy. Feel fucked up. <laughs> I am angry. Yeah? And now invite the opposite. Yeah? Like I invite you to do that. Yeah? Uh, um invite so if it was stress by relaxation yeah? and so uh, you're feeling anger and then put that anger into your into your left hand and feel that yeah but you're holding it now i feel angry no yeah? i feel i feel stressed yeah i feel it and now invite the the opposite and hold it in your right hand or if, if you were doing that in your right hand change it to your left so now visualize yourself relaxed or happy you know um, I'm visualizing myself at a beach, got my family there, there's nothing to do, got no mahi to do now, I've got the whole day just to do fuck all. <laughs> I'm just chilling it, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck that feels good, man, I feel relaxed. And now look back at your left hand and angry, man. I feel angry, <laughs> I feel angry, I feel stressed, man. I can feel it. Look back to your right hand, fuck yeah, I feel good, I feel, I feel relaxed, man. Uh, I feel good, happy, relaxed. And then, um... You can go back again, angry. Go back again, relax, and then pull them out in front of you, hey. And you're the third one. <laughs> you're the one that's holding me in there, you know. <laughs> you're the alchemist. Yeah? You were in there before, you were in the anger. Now you're out of it. Now you're 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 got an overstanding on it. Now you're you're above it now. And you can feel them both like energy balls right in your hand, eh? And, and bring them together, you know? uh, The long lost lovers, no? In a higher dimension, they were together. Right? And as they come down into level three, they separated. Right? And they've been bumping against each other and fucking fighting each other. And <laughs> they just need a bit of a hand to pull each other back together. And there's you. No, you're God. You're, you're the alchemist. Um, until you actually feel what this shit feels like. Fuck, no, like... Uh, <laughs> it's impossible to explain, but... The scenario I'm telling you, you can use it anybody. Any, whatever uh, potama you're climbing, no? whatever um, ara, whichever way you wanted to climb, whichever way you picked to climb, or any path that you're taking on in your life, uh, no matter how low you feel, you can do this. This is a, a an easy practice to add into your kitty. And once you feel it, uh, fuck, it's beautiful. And uh, once you become more aware, as your consciousness is climbing, your awareness is climbing, then, then you can start to feel it, eh? And as soon as you pull them together, energy starts fucking shooting up your spine and shit. It's a trippy feeling. No, it tingles fucking everywhere. It's because you're joining it into a, a, a higher emotion. Um, 
according to uh, Waputi Ra, it's um, yeah, no, no, it's, it's like uh, uh, emotion from the fifth dimension, eh? an emotion without opposites, eh? it's just a complete emotion, eh? and you're feeling this shit. <laughs> Fucking like the power within it, beautiful, you know. So that, 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 that's that's why it's one um, one practice. Another practice is uh, if you can tell yourself, "I am angry," or "I am stressed," and you can feel it in your body. So so um, uh, there's two quick ups. There's two quick ups to your laser beam to tune your laser beam up. Uh, one is gratefulness, you know, like um, and that works like. Uh, it's hard to grab the anger, it's hard to invoke it. But if you are already angry, no, and you catch it, you're like, so you're waiting for it now. Like, you're, like you know this scenario, you know this game, you know this uh, practice. Now, um, wait. Wait till you get angry. And then when you can feel it, and you catch it, you're grateful. No? <laughs> you're like, yeah, I got you. No, <laughs> I can feel it. No, I'm fucking so grateful, no. Uh, and gratefulness is a huge upward vibration, no? Um, probably the greatest one I've experienced, being grateful. And, and you can, after you've felt that gratefulness, you can start shooting it at every freaking thing. No? <laughs> Things that you didn't really were grateful for anymore, before. But now you are. No? You can, once you feel it, you might be grateful to one of your kids, no? And you can feel it, get into that rhythm. No, oh, fuck it, I'm fucking so grateful for you entering into my life. Fuck, this is the shit. Now you can feel it, boom, shoot it at another motherfucker, you know? <laughs> Gratefulness is a powerful tool. And um, when you're waiting for um, a chance to be the alchemist, you're waiting for some stress or some anger or some confusion or some shit to come over you. Next thing, boom, catch it. Grateful, you know, fuck, thank you. Thank you for coming to the surface, né? which is all tra traumas up in here until you bring them to the surface. Thank you. <laughs> uh, as soon as you're holding your attention on it, you're raising its vibration. Um, a mis teaching that I was under, a mis teaching that I had fucking taught motherfuckers, né? a mis teaching that uh, is out there in uh, Matakite Tanga and, and fucking Maramataka and uh, Muri Muri, no? and Rumi Rumi. No? Um, and heaps of other spiritual teachings that there's some shit inside of you you have to get out of you. It's not true, eh? You are the all. You are the all. No, everything in this whole entire existence is in you. In every one of your cells, you fucking break yourself into billions of cells. Pick one of them. It's got everything in it. No, it's complete. You can't take a part of the all and it not be the all. You have everything in you. So get rid of the fact that I'm trying, whether you got a disease or anything, you got to pull it out of you. Now you got to kill it. Then cut that out. Uh, that's, not a, that's not a high vibration. Eh? Gratefulness. <laughs> Gratefulness, <laughs> acceptance is high. And you can raise it up to you. Eh? It's like, uh, we'll say there's 72, but there's more like billions. Eh? So there's, there's 72. I got 72. Um, I got 72 Robbies. No? Eh? Name was given was Robbie when I was a baby. <laughs> so we'll say, I got, uh, I got 72 Robbies inside of me, no? and they're all playing an orchestra of Robbie. And then uh, one of them, the guitar string broke, and he's yelling out to me, like, bro, Robbie, fix my shit. No, like, but I want to join in. No, I want to climb up with you, motherfuckers. No, I want to I wanna, I wanna take part. Bro, now I got two, three guitar strings broke. It was one, but you ignored me. Now, now I've got fuck. Um, <laughs> now there's three broken. I can't keep up with that. No, like I already thrown off my rhythm. Help me out. No, calling out to you, which is a trauma. Eh? They'll they'll show themselves and and call out to you, and you just have to have a a, a, a level of awareness. And an example for that is you might be driving somewhere. Or a bro fucking brought my attention to this. I fucking had a shocker with this one too. Um, really felt the urge to text somebody. Really. And I was driving. No, really felt the urge to text. Had my son in the car with me. I really fucking need... Nah, you fuck, and then I heard the bank is off. Like, boom. Yeah, ba 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 And then fucking had a car crash. Hey, like, eh? like uh, and there would have been heaps of times before that in my life where I did a similar thing. I was checking some shit on the internet and I wanted to, um, a long drive, I wanted to fucking do a few more things at once. 
If I was aware, I would pull over. No? If it was that important, pull over. No? Which is the same thing. If um, you're inside and you're angry, uh, and you can feel it, it's like, and you're aware of it, no, fuck, I caught you. Go to the bathroom, man. Even if um, your, your your friends or your family are uh, like nutting out at you, even. They just say, fuck, hold up. I just need to go to the bathroom. No? Go to the bathroom, no? which is the same as pulling over to the side of the road. No? Go to the bathroom, and then it's only going to take a couple minutes. For real. It's only going to take a couple minutes. Grateful. Shoot some grateful energy at this shit. Fucking thank you for coming to the surface. Same as um, the, the other style is uh, if you could feel it in your body. Um, I am angry. Pinpoint it in your body. Uh, one of the 72, one of the 72 <laughs> with broken guitar string and he's yelling out, you know, it's like, fuck yeah, I'm, I'm anxious. No, I'm anxious. Fuck yeah, I can feel it. Fuck, it's around my knee somewhere. Fuck off. Um, thank you. No? So another energy is um, acceptance and uh, nurturing. So so one for that is you could just imagine having your, your kid or a baby or uh, or any kid that you're fucking like close to. They fucking got a bit of a mumway and they like stubbed their toe or some shit got, got stung by a bee and they just need a bit of a hug. Hey, you give them a hug. Fuck, you're good. You're good. Fuck, you're good. I get a strong hands. Fuck it. Too much. I love you, boy. I love you. I love you, girl. Fuck. No? That, that energy, upward energy. No? So if you give that same energy, you can feel it. You can feel bro, Robbie's fucking guitar strings broken in my knee. You know? I can feel this energy around there. I'm holding my thing there. And, and then I just imagine giving him a cuddle like, fuck yeah, I love you. Fuck. Yeah, I accept you. No? Uh, we can walk forward together. No? We are in this together. No? I'm going to give you your space. No? <laughs> I'm going to give you your own space. No, you're coming with me, bro. You're, you're coming with me in this orchestra, we're fucking climbing our rangi tuhaha together, no? And that raises the vibration, no? There was no need to try and kill this motherfucker and get him out of me, no? Like, <laughs> I, I can pull him up, no? Which is everything in life, you can do that, no? You are the alchemist. Um, uh, Tāwhakitanga is um, getting rid of all limitation. Every belief is a limitation, no? A limitation you're holding on yourself. Yeah. Same as every Bible, once upon a time it was, um, they taught, there is no limitation, eh? Uh, te kore tamau, eh? Like, there is no limitation. No, <laughs> You are the limitation. You're the limiter. You're the governor. The true government is in here. You're the governor. You're governing yourself. No? <laughs> like, you're holding yourself back. Getting rid of each belief is getting rid of that. So, um, uh, you can do it. No? Fucking thank you. Thank you for your time. I fucking love you. But this is the intro, so I'm just going to keep it. <laughs> and, uh, if you just want me to touch up on this other shit, then yeah, sweet ass, we'll get to it. Um, if it runs out of space or if my baby wakes up, then fucking, oh, I might look different when it starts up again. But uh, the intro. Um, so, the other thing I invite you, whatever religion, hey, anything that you're in, fuck, it's all beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. But, um, what original was at the beginning of it 